Full show, lot to get through. It's that time, it's time for the news. <laughs> and of course, the big news stories last night was the Academy Awards. Coda won Best Picture, and that's pretty much what everybody's talking about. <laughs> I didn't see anything else happen, did you? No. 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 That was it. No. no. I mean, of course. <laughs> Will Smith stormed onto the stage, slapped Chris Rock for telling a joke about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. If you haven't seen it, I mean, you have, you have, you've seen it. <laughs> you've seen it. The whole, the whole incident threw me off in, in, a, in a huge way. I also completely ruined my chances in the Oscar pool. I had Dame Judi Dench <laughs> smacking Woody Harrelson. I had that. <laughs> Seriously, though, I, I, I applaud Chris Rock for recovering, keeping the show moving. Uh, it was <laughs> an incredibly uh, dignified uh, response. I'll say this, Will Smith can't take a joke. Chris Rock can take a punch. <laughs> A steel jaw. Unbelievable. <laughs> People on social media were so confused about what they just saw, the hashtag what just happened immediately trended on Twitter. Even the seat fillers were like, should I fill in for Will Smith? Oh, no, he's coming back. Never mind. Run! <laughs> <laughs> the celebrities in the audience didn't know what to think either. Lupita Nyong'o was sitting behind Will Smith as he repeatedly dropped the F-bomb while yelling at Chris Rock. Uh, here she is while it was happening. Look at that, it's... <laughs> the first time anyone in Hollywood was like, please point the camera away from me. <laughs> please. She's like, this is the craziest, scariest thing I've seen in my life, and I was in the movie Us. <laughs> the event overshadowed the entire evening, which contained some unexpected moments, like this one, where uh, Ryusoke Hamaguchi, the director of Drive My Car, was giving his acceptance speech for Best Foreign Film, alongside a translator who wasn't needed. <laughs> I love it. It's the classic, I have no idea what to do. I'm just going to look busy. I look busy. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm just taking some notes. <laughs> Once she realised that he didn't need her to translate anything, she, do you know what she was doing? She just started sketching Kevin Costner. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like she just thought of a great Will Smith joke that she wants to remember so she can tweet it later. <laughs> And there was this odd moment while introducing the category for best sound, Jason Momoa burps on command. These people are geniuses. They are the nominees for achievement in sound. <laughs> A magical night in Hollywood. <laughs> And, of course, people were talking about the looks on the red carpet. Timothy Chalamet showed up to the Oscars shirtless. Look at that. Classic <laughs> Chalamet. Classic, just out there, looking like it's, you know, it's a sexy magician. <laughs> Although it did create an awkward moment on the red carpet when Sir Anthony Hopkins showed up wearing the exact same thing. <laughs> Always your nightmare. <laughs> Always your nightmare. Then, of course, to top the evening off, Will Smith returned to the stage to accept the Oscar for Best Actor. This is true. During his acceptance speech, Will Smith said he wants to be a vessel of love. And everyone in the room was like, I'll settle for a vessel of chill the f*** out. <laughs> but Will Smith's evening ended with him being handed a Best Actor Oscar. Well, that and also a WWE SmackDown belt. <laughs> And that's the news. <laughs>